ironic. I mean, you know, we have all these associates. We have all this stuff going on. We clean. Oh my God. I mean, we clean. We probably have 109 different facilities in this in this area that we clean every night. Wow. We have every night. Every night we have things in that. I mean, we have all this stuff going on, and you know, the one thing I worry about is cash flow. Because we are in times now, and I think we might be coming out of those times, but uh, in my business, people have started slow paying. And you talk about rocking, rocking the boat for, for me, because we have to pay our people every other week. People don't pay you slow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, have, we have large corporations now, which I get 90 days. Really? Yeah. So we're the bank, basically. You're, you're financing that? Right. So. Imagine. And that's, that's the biggest thing in my industry right now is these large corporations, they can do that. Yeah. You know, and, that, and that's what affects my cash flow like no other. I mean, it, you know, people are like, oh, Danny's got all, he just goes home and he just drinks wine and life <laughs> is just good for Danny. No, I go home and I stress because cash flow is a huge part of a, a small business. And, uh, you know, just because when, when somebody drags you out 90 days, that's what I'm learning here lately is, is watching it, how it trickles all the way down to the person cleaning Noonan Utilities. I mean, because I have to move money, I have to grab money, I, I have to pay my people. So. And, and, and while growth is good, maybe that's yeah. the toughest point for cash flow. It is. It absolutely You're is. You're growing, you've yeah. got to have the cash. It's, uh, you know, we're big volume now and low margin. And that is the biggest thing I've had to adjust to in the last three or four years. So how do you... How do you pick those jobs now versus how do you, how do you pick them a while back? Way different. Way, I mean, when I was running Noonan myself, I mean, I'd go out and I would literally walk a building, like say this building, I would walk a building, I had no method. You know, I'd go in, at first I'd, I'd sit down with Candace or, or try to, hey, how you doing? You good to see you. You know, do all that stuff, right, to do the people end of it. Walk around and go, man, this is probably going to take somebody three, four hours, I can put this on in an hour, come back, have her a bid, she hires me. That's the way I used to do business. Um, in 2007, uh, this market kind of filled up for me. Uh, I decided <coughs> I could, I've, I've always been scared of being up, and so I've always been proactive thinking. So Coweta is, I have a lot in Coweta, but what do I do next? I've got to go outside this community. I've got to go after the, the, other, the other facilities. Well, I can't go after a, a, a chamber of commerce in Barron County in South Georgia. Physically, logistically, I can't make that happen. That's one person goes into a facility and cleans a facility. I can't manage that person. So what we decided to do was go after large corporations. We get on uh, all these lists. We find out who has 200 or more employees. That way we can go into a facility, hire a, a good manager, forty to sixty thousand dollars a year, hire that manager, give that manager all the tools he needs, make sure he has my vision. Um, and it's kind of like a, that's his own little business. And then that that's kind of our business model now. We're going all over the state using that little business model. So 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 Danny, and you hit on something there that's important. You, initially, you were the vision. Today, you're teaching people what the vision is. Right? How do you teach other people it is hard to, to have your vision? <laughs> it is very hard. Because, I mean, I have a vice president now. I have a, a salesman. I have all this stuff that's great, right? But I constantly have to keep that vision on those guys. You know, they'll go out and they'll, I'll walk into a building in DeKalb County and see, I've always been huge on my image, not personally, but my company's image. Uh, and I have to remind them of that, you know, tucked in shirts. You know, I like to think that we're on the cutting edge of janitorial. I know that sounds kind of corny, but I, but I have to get that through my guys all the time. My ladies, my HR, look, Tucked in shirts, black belt, black shoes. That's that's us. If I if I don't see that, I get upset. And you can, I mean, I, my I, I wear my vice president out. I mean, when I see that, it drives me up the wall. So it's constantly, 
constantly expressing my vision to my team, and then hopefully they better be expressing expressing that vision to to the associate out there cleaning. So, so boil that vision down for us, because folks around this table uh, have vision. They're they're entrepreneurs. Uh, when you start teaching vision to other people, I mean, you got to be able to boil it down so somebody else can grab it. Boil down your vision. My vision for my company? Yeah, yeah. What, what are the elements? Of that? What does it include? Uh, yes. try to boil it down. You, you, you just talked about um, image. Image is for huge. Professional. Image is my first. If you worked for me and I walked into uh, a facility, I walked in, say, New York Utilities. Can I use that? Uh, think about this. Uh, when I walk into a Union Utilities or I walk into a DeKalb Technical College, my group knows exactly where I'm going first because I've expressed that time and time. I go straight to the janitorial closet. It sounds corny, but that's exactly what I do. I will walk in, and if that closet is not tidy, does not have the MSDS sheets in it, does not have all the things that I've expressed. Those employees are not dressed the way I will not even walk the door. Because they know that it start for me, it starts in that closet. That closet needs to have vacuum cleaner, it has, needs to have a belt, the brushes need to be on the bottom of it. MSDS sheets need to be on there. The, the, the restroom cart needs to be clean. All that is image to me. If I walk in a building, and you've got Joe Schmo there with a long, you know, a shirt that's untucked, a dirty vacuum cleaner, just getting it done. That, that's not, that's not me. So that, that's part of my image. So, so, so image, vision, elements of it, it's complex. It's complex. And you just broke down image, Danny, into a series of processes and procedures that's that that's are right. critical to who you are and what you do. When you started the business, did you have a bunch of processes and procedures? What's it like now? Yeah, that's true. I mean, I look back and, and go, I guess I did. I had them in my brain. Right. But I was riding around Coweta County in a 1986 Aerostar. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I mean, it was a, I kept it clean. I mean, you opened up the side, the sliding door, I opened up that door, I had my clean, I mean, I've always been proud, I guess, it's kind of weird, but I've always been proud of what I had, you know, my, my vacuum cleaners, I mean, Tom, I think, I mean, I've been working with Tom, I mean, cleaning buildings 10 years ago, I mean, I've always, I'd open my door, my vacuum cleaners were there, I remember going into some of your facilities, and that's just, and I would take pictures of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I would take pictures of a cleaning van. Okay. They didn't, didn't have letters on it. I was just, uh, I used to clean Sailor One across the, across the way there. You remember when I was Sailor One? Yeah, yeah. Way back in the day. Yeah. Jim, uh, Jim Dunavant? Mm -hmm. Whatever they got. Yeah. Is he real? Um, but that, that, that was part, I guess, with procedures yeah. in place, yeah. and that was my procedure. Yeah. And uh, I would ride around every night, you know, going from building to building to building and making sure when I got finished cleaning the building, my stuff would go back in there, it would look tidy at the end of the night, my stuff would be tidy. I mean, those are little checklists that I'd have right. every night. Checklists, processes, yeah. procedures. And you build those, you build those through time. Okay.